Lisa Taylor with eXp Realty and I wanted to talk to you today about choosing a building lot. There are so many things to consider when choosing a building lot. Uh, I'll just start with the list in no particular order. So what size do you need? How much acreage do you want and need? You need to be sure that the house that you want to build can fit on the property even if it's a really large size lot sometimes restrictions mean that you won't be able to build the house that you want to build so you need to look into things like environmentally protected areas and what size the footprint of the house can be another thing to consider is privacy are you a person who wants complete privacy do you not want to see any of your neighbors or are neighbors good and you like people what about location Oftentimes when you're looking for a building lot, you're looking for, you know, to get a little bit further out of town. But how far from town? What's your drive going to be like to groceries and hospitals and all of the amenities? Another thing is hydro. Does the hydro come right to the lot? How far is it from the lot? Hydro is not cheap. It does cost money to get it to where you need it to be. So that's a thing to consider. Oftentimes, if you see a listing, it says hydro to the lot line. That's good. What about drinking water? Do we, does the lot have a, drill, a well already? Is it a drilled well? What type of well is it? If there's no well, what's the water like in the area? How do you know you're going to be able to get water? How deep are the wells in the area? These are all things to consider. Another thing that you have to think about is sewage. So if you are not on city water or city sewage, you do need to put in a septic system. So you need to consider where the septic goes. Septics take up a lot of space and you need to have the space and place for a septic system. Something that is really important and kind of a tricky thing is internet and cell service. When you start going and looking for lots, you wanna make sure that you have cell service at the lot if that's important to you. It is a very real issue to get really good internet and cell service as you move further out from town. Is the road access for this lot year round? Is it private? Are there maintenance fees? Do you pay a collective amount to have the boulevards cut or the road plowed in the winter time. So you need to think about how you're accessing that property. What about the land composition? And this is a really important thing because we just built and our property was all granite. So if you know what the land composition is, you can decide whether or not you're gonna have a basement or build slab on grade and how is that gonna happen? What if it's sand? It can impact how and what you can build. And property taxes. The property tax when you buy the lot is not gonna be the same as once you build the house. You wanna check around and find out what similar properties in the area pay for their taxes. It's a pretty good indication. And a Big, big one, I've left it for last, is local bylaws because this is key. Don't overlook it. There are so many local bylaws that restrict and determine what you can build, how you can build, where you can build. This is a really important thing to check out before you buy. So if you have any questions or if you're looking for a lot, I've got some for sale. Give me a call, send me a message. I'm happy to help.